This is an English lesson for writing and it is for Form 1 to Form 3. Here is a sample paper. So writing is paper 2. The code is 12 stroke 2. We are looking at part 2. Part 2 is called Note Expansion. So this is an example. Let's look at the question. So part 2, 20 marks. You should spend about 35 minutes in the part. In your class, you have been talking about celebrations. In about 120 words, write an essay about a celebration you enjoy. You may use the notes below to help you. So you can see a mind map here. Then you have the main or the focus or the question is a celebration you enjoy. So why you celebrate it, how you feel, who celebrate, who you celebrate with, what you do, when you celebrate it, where you go. Write your essay. So today we are going to learn uh, one of the types of writing. So you have informal letter, story, review, article and also report. So today you are going to learn article. This is the units in your textbook. So from 1 and from 2 you are using past 2 textbook. So there are 9 units. So let's look at form 1, unit 1, the writing uh, part is a personal profile. So this is uh, similar to an article. Then unit 2 you have review, unit 3 story, unit 4 description of a place. So this is also an article. Number 5 giving opinion. So it is also an article. And then you have informal letter for unit 6, unit 7, blog post. So this is uh, a mixture of an article and also a uh, partly story. So unit nine, uh, unit eight will be email, and unit nine, instant message. Now let's look at form three. The textbook is close up. There are twelve units. So unit one, the writing is email. Unit two, review. Unit three, email. Unit four, story. Unit five, informal letter. Unit seven, story. Unit eight. Postcard, Unit 9, uh, Unit 10, Letter, Unit 11, Report, and the last, Unit 12 is Story. So let's look at the plan or the format for an article. First of all, you have the title, example, A Celebration. Then you have the introduction, which is the first paragraph. Then you have the contents. You can write the contents in paragraph 2 and also paragraph 3. Then the last one is the closing. So let's look at an example. This is taken from the textbook. So we have Claire Edwards. So this is the title. Then after that, you have, can have the introduction. Like, hi, my name is Claire Edwards and I'm 14 years old. I'm from Cardiff in Wales. I live with my mom and dad and my 12-year-old brother, Sam, who's a big computer fan. My best friends are Holly and Anita. And you can continue with the contents. I love music. I listen to music all the time. And I play the guitar in a band with some of my friends. We are called the Daisies. And we play rock and pop music. I write the songs, but I don't like singing because I'm shy. I'm writing a new song at the moment. Then the last paragraph is your conclusion. I also love going shopping because I'm really into fashion. My favorite color is green. So I've got lots of green clothes. I'm not very sporty, but I sometimes go rollerblading in the park. So this is an example of an article. So let's look at an article. When writing an article, think of a suitable title for your article. Use formal language and long forms. What is long forms? So long form is writing longer than usual and with a lot of details. Allow yourself time to plan what you will be including in your article and then consider the ideas, opinions and others. Each part of your article should be separated from the next with clear paragraphs. Let's look at the plan or the format. Paragraph 1, it is the introduction. So introduce the topic of the article 
You can include interesting facts or relating the topic to your own life. Or you can also state your opinion or preference. Examples of sentences or phrases are Can you imagine? Do you know that? Would you like to? Have you ever wondered? Next, let's look at paragraph 2 and 3. So they are contents. This is the main body of the article. Remember that you have to expand your ideas, opinions, describe them and support with examples. Here, remember that you have to read the WH questions in the exam paper. So there are many phrases that you can use. First, firstly, first of all, remember that you can use the linkers to start with. Secondly, then, furthermore, finally, lastly. And then we have paragraph 4. So paragraph 4 is the closing. Remember that you have to end the article. I, you can either sum up, write your feelings, hopes or wishes. Examples, in conclusion. To sum up the, for these reasons, I feel that the best option is, all in all, in short. Dear pupils, let's try to do an exercise. So here we have part 2. Again, part 2 is called note expansion. Let's look at the question. Part 2, 20 marks. You should spend about 35 minutes in this part. In your class, you have been talking about endangered animals in Malaysia. In about 120 words, write the, an article about the endangered animals in your country. So this is the reference. Uh, you can read from one past, text, past two textbook, Unit 3. The title is Life on Earth. So you have the bubble map here, endangered animals. So this is about endangered animals in Malaysia. Let's look at the bubbles. What are some endangered animals? Where can these animals be found? Why are they endangered? Who can help these animals? What are your feelings? How can we protect these animals? Then the instruction, write your article. Now let's look at the mind map given. So you have endangered animals in Malaysia. So the first bubble, what? are some endangered animals. So remember, it is about animals in Malaysia. So you can write uh, Malayan tiger, Malayan tapir, orangutan, proboscis monkey, Borneo pygmy elephant. So there are many endangered animals in Malaysia. The tigers, the tapirs, orangutan and others. Let's look at the second bubble. Where can this animal be found? So you can mention the places or the states, example, Peninsula Malaysia, Sabah, and other places. So the third bubble, why are they endangered? Reasons, maybe forest clearing, cutting down of trees or forests, poaching. Poaching is illegal hunting. Okay, who can help these animals? So you can write organizations like WHO, the government, Perhilitan, and even the public. Okay, what are your feelings will be the next bubble. So you can write feelings. You are disappointed, you are angry, or you are determined to do something about it. Okay, how can we protect these animals? Actions, maybe you can have more sanctuaries, stricter laws, or heavier punishments. Dear students, let's look at first of all the title. So you can write endangered animals in Malaysia, endangered animals in our country, or Malaysia endangered animals. Dear pupils, let's look at paragraph 1. So this is the introduction. There are a few examples here. Do you know what are the endangered species or animals in Malaysia? They are Malayan tiger, Malayan taper, black shoe, orang utan, Borneo pygmy elephant, Sumatran rhinoceros, proboscis monkey and Sunda pangolin. Let's look at the second example. It is an undeniable fact that wildlife is disappearing from the planet at a catastrophic rate. According to World Wildlife Fund, WWF, some endangered animals in Malaysia are such as Borneo elephants, proboscis monkeys, orangutans, clouded leopards, marine turtles and some bears. The third example, you can start 
the introduction by writing there are many endangered species of mammals, birds, amphibians, and plants nowadays. Some endangered species are the orangutan, tiger, and elephant. Okay, let's look at the next example. If an animal is endangered, that means there are not many of that kind of animal left and that the ones that are left are having trouble surviving. And the last example for paragraph 1. Today, many animals are facing extinction. Malayan tiger, Malayan tapir, orangutan and elephants are on the endangered list. Dear pupils, now we are writing paragraph 2, 3 or maybe you can write more. Maybe paragraph 2, 3 and 4 for the contents. So there are a few examples here. The three priority areas for Malayan tigers are Taman Negara, Andau Rompin Forest Complex and Belum, the Mango Forest Complex. Meanwhile, Black Shrew has been spotted in Kota Kinabalu, Sabah and Malayan taper populations are found in Peninsula Malaysia. Another example, these animals are endangered because Trees are cut down for palm oil plantations and poaching and illegal trafficking of wildlife is rife as it provides a lucrative livelihood. There are less than 350 million tapers and only three known rhinos left due to deforestation and hunting. Then there are more examples here. One reason for the decline is man's ever increasing needs and greeds that have resulted in habitat destruction. For development purposes, man has felt trees to build dams, highways and towns, and this has forced animals to retreat further and further into their receding forests. Another reason is poaching. Man's desire to keep animals in captivity or their desire to consume the various parts of certain animals as exotic food has resulted in the disappearance of many animal species, such as the sun bear and the tiger. Another example, the rapid decline in their numbers is mainly due to poaching, forest clearing and natural disasters. Some of these animals are decreasing in number because people have been hunting them down for their fur and skin. With the global trend veering towards industrialization and urbanization, forests are destroyed at an alarming rate. As a result, many wild animals that used to live in these forests are forced to retreat to less fertile areas. There are more examples here. There are many organizations helping to protect these animals in our country, such as the Sepilo Orangutan Rehabilitation Center in Sabah, WWF Malaysia and Perhilitan. In 2016, a total ban was imposed on international trade on all pangolin species, including the Sunda pangolin. In addition, there are stricter penalties like the penalty for offences related to tigers can now reach RM 500,000 and up to 5 years in jail. So, how then can we protect animals and prevent them from becoming extinct? First, we need to prevent felling of trees unnecessarily. Trees should always be replanted if they are cut. Then, pollution should also be controlled. In addition, more campaigns should be launched to teach the public about protecting animals. Here are more examples. More zoos that imitate the natural habitat of animals should be set up to save endangered species, like the tapers and the orangutans. One example is in Sabah. A sanctuary has been set up in Sepilo to help orangutans procreate and survive. The government should also proclaim various animals as protected species. Moreover, a ban can be imposed on the shooting of these animals and the culprits are fined heavily or maybe even in prison. Then we have another example here. Strict measures must be taken to prohibit poaching and the sale of these animals, such as stricter laws should be passed and enforced to deter poaching. In this way, wildlife and their young have a chance to survive. Dear pupils, here are more examples and these are about feelings. 
we can write I'm deeply appalled by the irresponsible parties or individuals who cut down forests illegally and hunt animals without legal permits just for their own profits. A second example, it is sad to see animals dying and their number becoming less. Every species on this planet serves a critical role within some ecosystem. In addition, it will be a shame that our grandchildren will not ever have the chance to see these animals. The third example, I'm also proud that there are conservationists who are working hard to generate awareness of efforts to save the habitats of endangered animals in the wild. And the last example, it is disheartening to see the alarming rate of animals disappearing in our country. When a species becomes endangered, it is a sign that the ecosystem is slowly falling apart. Each species that is lost triggers the loss of other species within its ecosystem. Now we are writing paragraph 5. So this is the closing paragraph. There are two examples here. To sum up, efforts to conserve animals must be intensified by everyone, from the government, organizations, to the men in the street. Love nature, look after nature for their survival is our survival. And number two, you can write, in conclusion, animals have the right to live just as humans. Therefore, we should take every step to preserve them and ensure their survival. Endangered animals in Malaysia. Did you know what are the endangered animals in Malaysia? They are Malayan tiger, Malayan tapir, black shrew, orangutan, Borneo pygmy elephant, Sumatran rhinoceros, proboscis monkey, and Sunda pangolin. The three priority areas for Malayan tigers are Taman Negara, Andorampan Forest Complex, and Belum Temengar Forest Complex. Meanwhile, Black shrew has been spotted in Kota Kinabalu, Sabah, and Malayan tapir populations are found in peninsular Malaysia. These animals are endangered because trees are cut down for palm oil plantations and poaching and illegal trafficking of wildlife is rife as it provides a lucrative livelihood. There are less than 350 Malayan tapirs and only three known rhinos left due to deforestation and hunting. There are many organizations helping to protect these animals in our country such as, the Sepilok Orangutan Rehabilitation Center in Sabah, WWF Malaysia, and MalaysianWildlife.org. In 2016, a total ban was imposed on international trade on all pangolin species, including the Sunda pangolin.
In addition, there are stricter penalties like, the penalty for offenses related to tigers can now reach RM500,000, and up to five years in jail. It is sad to see animals dying and their number become lesser, every species on this planet serves a critical role within some ecosystem. Moreover, it will be a shame that our grandchildren might not ever have the chance to see these animals. To sum up, efforts to conserve animals must be intensified by everyone, from the government, organizations to the man in the street. Love nature, look after nature for their survival is our survival. Endangered animals in Malaysia It is an undeniable fact that wildlife is disappearing from the planet at a catastrophic rate. According to World Wildlife Fund, WWF, some endangered animals in Malaysia are such as Borneo elephants, proboscis monkeys, orangutans, clouded leopards, marine turtles, and sun bears. It is disheartening to see the alarming rate of animals disappearing in our country. When a species becomes endangered, it is a sign that the ecosystem is slowly falling apart. Each species that is lost triggers the loss of other species within its ecosystem. One reason for the decline is man's ever-increasing needs and greed that have resulted in habitat destruction. For development purposes, man has felled trees to build dams, highways and towns and this has forced the animals to retreat further and further into the receding forests. Another reason is poaching. Man's desire to keep animals in captivity or their desire to consume the various parts of certain animals as exotic food has resulted in the disappearance of many animal species such as the sun bear and the tiger. So, how then can we protect animals and prevent them from becoming extinct? First, we need to prevent felling of trees unnecessarily. Trees should always be replanted if they are cut. Then, pollution should also be controlled. In addition, more campaigns should be launched to teach the public about protecting animals. More zoos that imitate the natural habitat of animals should be set up to save endangered species like the tapirs and the orangutans. One example is in Sabah. A sanctuary has been set up in Sepilok to help orangutans procreate and survive. The government should also proclaim various animals as protected species. Moreover, a ban can be imposed on the shooting of these animals and the culprits are fined heavily or may be even imprisoned. In conclusion, animals have the right to live just as humans. Therefore, we should take every step to preserve them and ensure their survival. Dear pupils, try to do this exercise and then you can discuss the answers with your teachers. So part 1, 20 marks. You should spend about 35 minutes in this part. In your class, you have been talking about a person you admire. In about 120 words, write an article about this person. You may use the notes below to help you. So here you have a person you admire. Who is the person? Where is the person from? What is the person's background? What are some of the person's achievements? Why do you admire the person? What are your feelings about the person? Then write your article. Dear pupils, we have reached the end of our discussion for writing, which is note expansion. So, uh, I hope that you have benefited from this lesson. And then, do remember to subscribe to my channel. It is called Educator Omni Tube. Signing off, I'm Madam Gan. Bye-bye.